friends and welcome to my Lolita wardrobe tour of 2022. In this video I'm going to be showing you all of my main pieces and then I'll be sprinkling in some of my favorite shoes and accessories and like headwear and bags um, because I do really like seeing those items in other people's wardrobes and so perhaps you might like to see some of my favorite pieces too. I'm going to start with the dress that I'm wearing right now. I got this dress from Taobao from a shop called Stardust Garden and it is called their baby doll JSK. I've really fallen in love with old school Lolita over the past year. Um, some of my other favorite dresses you'll see have some like old school design elements to them. Um, I'd say this is like my only really old school coordinate. I have my my little under the knee socks on too. Um, apart from the blouse, the blouse is still super sweet. It's like this cute little mesh blouse. I got myself baby doll uh, Kuma Kumia and I really wanted to match her. We look lovely together um, and yeah this, this is the favorite dress of the moment and it definitely makes me happy. I'm not gonna go in any particular order with my dresses but um, up next I do have another one of my favorite dresses and this was like I think it was the favorite before I got this one um, and so it is this beautiful black dress here. Now this is also from Taobao. I do not know the brand name or the cut of the dress's name um, because it didn't have an English translation and actually I only look at Taobao on my cell phone so it doesn't um, it doesn't translate it for me. Uh, so if I looked at the proper like Chrome website page I, um, it might translate and it might have told me the name whoops um but anyways yes so this dress i love so much so did i mention it's this gorgeous corduroy material which is everything probably one of my most comfortable dresses i just i enjoy it so much it has full shearing on the back and little like waist ties that are sewn on and personally i prefer my waist ties sewn on i feel like that might be a controversial opinion i feel like everybody does not prefer this up next i have my very first and only angelic pretty dress so this is Cherry Marguerite from 2015. I absolutely love this dress. I got it secondhand from Closet Child. I love the gingham. I love the strawberries and the cherries. Some of the cherries are like the little pointy kind of love heart shaped cherries, which are really cute. And then they have like a little arrow coming through it. And yeah, the daisies are precious. Some of the daisies have like a little cross symbol which I really like I don't know I'm into that um, so it's really sweet and then this one here it does have the waist ties that are detachable which is like cool yeah but the buttons are daisies so that's a fabulous detail that I really enjoy she's got some custom angelic pretty lace that has little cherries and it says AP and it's just really precious. Custom lace is one of my favorite details on dresses. Up next is a dress from my favorite brand, Baby the Starshine Bright. So this was in fact my very first baby dress, so she has some lovely memories attached thanks to that. I got her second hand from the website Buy E, um, or like the website Mercury, but I bought it through Buy E, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, it is called Kumia's Strawberry Cherry, or cherry strawberry. Um, I'm really dyslexic and I always muck those up. Uh, but yes, it was a 2016 release. And yeah, she's just, she is everything in this like berry motif, which you'll probably see a little bit of. Um, berry design was like my favorite design, I guess, the year before last. Um, so yes, we definitely gravitated towards a lot of that. Uh, but this dress is everything. Oh my gosh, we have Usakumia and Kumakumia all over the place. They're wearing like little cherry headbands and then they're like sitting on the cherries and strawberries and they're just really precious. She has some beautiful custom lace. So it has like cherries at the top of the custom lace and then it comes down and we have Usakumia's face and it says the word baby and it's so precious like i said i love i love custom lace um very very cute you might notice this dress doesn't have the belly bow attached and same with the other ones that have a detachable belly bow i have now started to store that separately because it kind of like yanks on the dress and tugs on the fabric and i yeah just didn't want to damage it or anything like that so i am storing those separately now and next up i have my very first lolita dress so yes, it is a dress and not a skirt. Um, I have started storing these kinds of dresses differently as well. So I'll just bring it onto the hanger so you can see it properly. Um, but it's these dresses with the like elastic armbands. Uh, yeah, so my friends like 
mentioned to me how um, these can really get like stretched out over time just hanging in your wardrobe and then they'll get too big you know when it has the constant weight of the dress pulling down on them so now all of my dresses that have this like yeah elastic armband um, I now store like folded over the middle like that just so it doesn't stretch them out I adore this dress so much and not only because she was my very first dress just because she's really gorgeous and I just I love all of the details pink and blue together is like my favorite combo it has stars which I absolutely love and then like the little merry-go-round at the bottom is really cute and just pastel and sweet and yeah she's just a super gorgeous dress I was actually watching my um my wardrobe video from last year and I mentioned that I had a goal of wanting to wear this dress some more during the year and um yeah I'm super pleased that I did make that happen I wore this dress a fair few times I love coordinating her and she just fits like a glove next up is this gorgeous dress from V Castle it is called Starry Sky from 2017 this dress does have a little story to it I suppose so I actually bought a replica of this dress way back in the day as a baby Lolita. I feel like it was probably like the third or second dress that I had ever bought. So yeah, I had a goal to replace that dress with the original from V Castle, which is what this is. Yay! So I was super lucky. My friend spotted it on, um, must have been Closet Child, and sent it to me. And so I snapped it up right away because, yeah, it was like one of those goals of mine to, to be able to support the real brand who designed this dress, who is... Yeah, V Castle. And the dress itself is so nice. I need to I need to wear it some more actually. Um but yes, it's covered in a gorgeous celestial print, which is really like glistening. I wonder if the light is catching it nicely. Um and it's got starry lace all over the place and I just I love stars and moons and celestial prints. They're just they're so cute. And it's black, and honestly, I kind of feel like the most comfortable wearing black. I um Sax blue was the first color I gravitated to in Lolita fashion, and I really do love that color. I do feel very at home in sax. Um, but black is just where my soul is, in all honesty. Um, I was an emo for way too long to yeah not have a sweet spot for wearing black. Um, but yes, so I'm very pleased to own the I guess original design of this dress. She's just gorgeous, and she deserves to be loved and appreciated the right way. Um, but yeah, so that's this one. Up next, I have another dress which has stretchy armbands, as you can tell, because it's folded over. This dress here is another one of my current favorite wears. I wear her all the time. I think she's super comfortable and just really cute. I really, I really love the design of this dress. Um, and so it is from Taobao. I don't know the name of the brand or the store um, because it kind of, she came into my life a little bit by accident. I was like watching this dress um, and I really love the design. Like these kind of little love heart details. Can you see so the, like this kind of rouging comes up in a little, love her it's so sweet um yes i was like watching this dress because i really loved it and then i didn't buy it or whatever and then my friend like separately fell in love with this dress bought it um but it didn't fit her the way that she wanted and then she asked me if i wanted to buy it and i was like oh my gosh i this was in my watch list yes please i would love to buy it um so yes like i feel i don't know like she came into my life a little bit I don't know, differently than some of my other dresses, a smidge, I suppose, but I'm so glad she did because, yeah, I really love this dress. It has full shearing in the back, the sewn-in waist ties, which personally I like, um, and yeah, I mentioned the love heart details already, but as well it has the lace, like, this, this lace straight up the middle. I really like this design. I think it's really cute. Up next, I have another dress from Baby, the Stars Shine Bright. And I think this is my favorite baby dress in my wardrobe at the moment. Um, she just has a lot of details that I totally love. This dress does have a paragraph for a name. So it's called My Sweet Mates Kumia Strawberry and Lace Millie Fleur Judy. Um, and it's from 2012. Sorry, I can't pronounce that dessert name very well. Um, but yes, so, huge name. I feel like Baby's kind of known for really large, exuberant, long names, um, which I love. <laughs> I don't know, I'm super into that. Uh, but yeah, she's just so gorgeous. So she is made from that old, like, textured cotton, which 
I just, I really enjoy. I, I wish my other dress, which is baby, which is cotton, I wish it was this textured cotton. The design itself is gorgeous. You can see the bottom has like these scalloped edging, which I really adore. And then we have a bunch of little bears from, um, from baby. So we have like Judy and Sophie, Oh gosh, I'm forgetting the other's name. <laughs> but yeah, now man. So we have all the bears and we have Usakumia. And Usakumia is like in a basket and she has little like love heart eyes and they're just it's precious. I feel like this is one of my favorite renditions of Usakumia because she just looks so adorable. The little waist ties, they have little strawberry buttons, which is really cute. And yeah, she's just a really sweet dress, super comfortable, and she fits me quite nicely as well. Next, I have a dress from Innocent World. This is their Emelina JSK from 2011. I bought this dress secondhand at one of our swap meets, and I'm really grateful that I did. I remember at the moment not being like 100% convinced that I loved this dress. It's because I was still like super OTT sweet, and I just wanted like hard out border prints, um, and so I thought this was a bit like too chill for my style. Um, which at the time perhaps it kind of was but yeah I'm so grateful that I did snap her up when I did because she's so gorgeous and I tend to wear this dress the most um, to our high tees sorry I forgot my words there um, but yeah this dress tends to be the dress that I wear to our high tees because she's just I don't know so elegant I suppose and I have a gorgeous blue bonnet that suits her really lovely which I love me a bonnet and a high tee I feel like they just go together nicely. Um, so yeah, I'm really grateful that I did buy her even though I originally wasn't too sure. Um, but yeah, she's like this kind of gorgeous shiny material. I wonder if you can see. Um, and it's not cheap shiny, obviously, it's Innocent World. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just this nice shine that I'm super, super into. So yeah, she was a really good score. I'm, I'm grateful I had got her. Next is another dress that I scored at a swap meet, and so this is Puto Mayo's Alice Orchestra from 2012. The print on this dress is super cute. It's like the old school kind of drawing of Alice and the Mad Hatter and the Cheshire Cat. And yeah, I really like that kind of old school drawn rendition of them. I think it's super cute. It is my shortest dress. And I wonder if you can kind of tell how short it is. Um, it definitely still fits into like the Lolita silhouette and it's not too short or anything, it's just shorter than everything else I own. And it doesn't have extendable um, armbands, I suppose, so like I can't make it longer, but it's it's not atrocious, it's not super short. I don't know why I'm going on about it. Um, but yes, no, no, she's, she's a very sweet dress. Next up is this gorgeous strawberry print dress from Taobao and is from a brand called Winky. This was my favorite dress for quite a long time. Um, it's just, it's really gorgeous. The border print is super stunning with lots of strawberries. It even says the word strawberry and I just, I love all the details kind of gradually coming up and onto the bodice as well. It's just super precious. The little buttons are love hearts which are just a cute detail and the lace is like starry lace and this was my very first dress which came with pockets oh my gosh so it has a pocket on each side which is really cool um since this dress i have gotten one more dress that has pockets and that was my angelic pretty dress but it only has one pocket um for some reason i don't know um <laughs> But yeah, so I do I do still really love this dress. I think she's really gorgeous and cute and everything about it is just Yeah, super adorable. Next I have another dress from Taobao and this one is from the brand 73 So this one here, oops, is like one of my plainest kind of dresses It was definitely the cheapest dress I had and that's reflected in the quality You know the bodice is simple the straps have like nothing going on. It doesn't have waist ties. It's really yeah, super plain, um, apart from the print, I suppose. So the print is really cute. I love the print because they're like skeleton unicorns and they're like hanging out on clouds and it slightly reminds me of like the creepy cute version of Cecilia Mary go round, which I really like. Um, but yeah, I bought this dress <laughs> like just off the cuff for Halloween and that is the only time I've worn this dress. Um, even though you could wear it throughout the year, like, you know, it's not Halloween specific at all, apart from the bones, I suppose, um, if you want to associate those with Halloween. I find the design really quite interesting. Like, yeah, I really enjoy the border print, but look, it doesn't even have any lace, you know, on the bottom. Like, so she is very simple and plain and kind of cheap. 
looking, but um, it's kind of fun, kind of fun for wearing it sometimes. <laughs> Up next is a dress that I've not actually put into a coordinate just yet, but it is very cute. I love the border design. So this dress is um, from UV Me. They gifted it to me for a review. And um, yeah, that just means that it's actually from Taobao because UV Me are just Taobao like on sellers or resellers or whatever. So the print is like all teddy bear themed, I suppose. All of the food is like in the shape of bears and it's just, it's really cute. Like sugary baked goods are like some of my favorite things. And I don't know, I just, I really like seeing them shaped like little, little bears. I think it's really cute like that. So I am excited to pop it into a coordinate. I think it would be really precious. Up next I have this dress from Baby the Star Shine Bright. And so I've not worn this dress either yet actually, but that is because I bought it for a very good price because it has like a wee hole here in the side. So I need to like fix that um, before I'm able to wear it. But yes, so this dress here is from Baby the Star Shine Bright and it is called my royal icing, my little princess um, from 2016. I bought this dress secondhand from Bai E and I got it at a remarkable price in my opinion um, because of the like hole that it had here in the side I suppose. But yeah, so it's made from the old school cotton, like the textures cotton which I love. You know, like the sleeves are these scalloped kind of sleeves which I'm super into. And then the design itself, it might be a bit light to see, but it's so precious. It's just a bunch of royal cookies. And like I mentioned, like, yeah, I, I managed a cupcake shop for a good chunk of my life, six years, and I would make sugar cookies like every other day. So. This one also gives me some lovely nostalgic vibes for that old life of mine. Um, and yeah, the dress, apart from the hole, is in really nice quality. Like we still have um, a bunch of the glitter intact, if you can see some of the glitter going on. Um, yeah, it can be kind of difficult to find older dresses that still have the glitter, like depending on how much they've been washed and stuff. So I was really pleased to see the quality of this dress when I um, whipped it out in person because she's really cute. And yeah, I was just, I was stoked that the glitter was still there. Next is a dress that I got from Taobao and this one is from a brand called Show a doll. Um, and yeah, I love this dress. This was like a solid favorite dress of mine as well. I guess, you know, a lot of them are, I suppose. But yeah, I feel like this was the first dress that I bought that had quite a few of these like more old school elements in it. Um, and it started leading me away from like border prints and towards, I guess, like one print all over kind of thing. I really adore this dress. It is a smidge big in the sense that I really do need to add like little extra hole just to shorten these um, arm straps um, because it sits a little bit too low for my liking. Um, but, but it comes with gorgeous neck crossover straps which I really adore. This is one of my favorite details um, in dresses and blouses. A lot of my blouses have this little detail. Sorry, this does too. Um, this is the dress, not the blouse. But yeah, a lot of my blouses come with, with cross straps as well which I'm super into. And yeah, the sleeves are precious and I'm, I'm super into this dress. And that is all of my main pieces. Um, well, I do, I do still have that pile of dresses I'm gonna sell and perhaps some of those might get stolen back and put into my wardrobe again when I try to sell them because maybe I'll get sentimental. Um, but oh well, those, those are basically all of my main pieces. Um, and so last time I showed you a bunch of outerwear and blouses, um, so I won't bother doing that again because I haven't really gotten any crazy different items in that. Um, but I will show you some of my favorite shoes and accessories and bags. Bags, um, just a few of them because I like seeing those things in other people's wardrobes and I do feel like sharing them with you so yeah we'll get on to that so I do have one more dress to show you oh my gosh and this was sitting on my mannequin and I knew I was gonna forget it I was like remember you have that dress on your mannequin um and yeah I did forget to show you so uh, here it is so it is my one and only cello pet that I have in my wardrobe and this dress here is from CC cat rest in peace, um, we love them. And so they've definitely found like a little kind of iconic place in Lolita because they really designed this like gorgeous OTT, like 2010 sweet print that everybody really loved. Um, and then unfortunately the brand closed down. Um, so yeah, there's only like a finite number of these dresses out there. Um, so yeah, I was really pleased that I managed to score myself one. The border print is just everything. It's like this cross section of, I guess, like teddy bear apartments or something. And so there's a bunch of teddy bears like 
chilling out and living their best life and it's just it is such a cute design. We have some meetups where like uh, often a lot of us are wearing cello pets and I've never had one. So I've been really excited to like be able to wear a cello pet with all of my friends. Um, so yeah, hopefully that will happen this year. So now onto some of my favorite Lolita bags and I'm going to start with my baby doll Kuma Kumia who is so precious and you did see her at the start of the video because we were matching and being cute. Um, but yeah, I just, I really adore her. A friend of mine helped me like pay for her so you know she'll always be extra special in that fact and remind me of them um and she's got little bloomers oh my god which we love so cute and then her little like ear bows even have the little dangling like baby emblem in them which is just such a cute detail yes my baby doll kuma kumia she is so cute next i have two of the mini mini kuma kumia and usa kumias um, and I did do a video like specifically on all of my Usakumias and Kumakumias, so I'll link that up for you because they have like more details. But um, this one here, she was a specialty item actually, and my very first Baby the Starshine Bright item. So she's very special. Um, I got her in Harajuku at Closet Child, and are you ready for it? <laughs> the squeak! So she's known as like the talking, talking Usakumia, I suppose, and she says like, Choo! like, and she had a little animation. It's really cute. Um, well, not like animated, just a drawing. There's a little drawing of her. Um, but yes, so I have these two, which are lovely. And then I have the strawberry Usakumia, um, who doesn't have her strawberry hood on right now. I have it in my box of accessories. Um, so like, it does exist. And she normally has the strawberry hood, so you can imagine that. And you can see like her little foot you know, it has this little special strawberry emblem. So she's totally the strawberry hooded uh, Usukumia. But yeah, I was wearing her in a coordinate that didn't have any red, so that's why I removed it. Um, and that's what I quite like about this strawberry Usukumia. Very versatile, like, you know, you can remove the hood. And then, yeah, she suits coordinates that don't have a lot of red going on. Um, so yeah, very cute. Next up is my black Usukumia, whom I adore so much. This Osakumia has probably come out of the house with me the most because I wear her in a lot of my regular, um, I guess like everyday fashion kind of thing because I'm not a lifestyle low leader. Um, but yeah, so I tend to always wear her because I wear a lot of black and I just, I really enjoy having something comforting with me, um, especially <laughs> recently. But yeah, so she suits a lot of my outfits so she has made the most trips out of the house for sure. And yeah, I bought her from a friend of mine actually as well. So kind of some warm fuzzies because she reminds me of my friend. And then lucky last, I have a pink Osakumia. She's so cute. I really, I love this like baby pink. She is really precious. Her little ribbon as well is kind of like sheer and polka dotty, which I really enjoy. Um, and so she is, yeah, she is gorgeous. My uh, mum bought this for me you know, kind of as a congratulations for surviving last year. Um, so yeah, she's a little bit special because she makes me feel some kind of way. Um, but yeah, she's she is so cute. I wanted a little pink baby for a long time now. So yes, I'm very happy with her. This bag here is like my most used bag of all time. I'm always carrying around this tote bag. Um, so it's from Angelic Pretty and it's just pretty plain, black and white, and it's got like a cute cake motif going on. I have a bunch of like dangly bits hanging from it. If you can hear um, some sounds, that's what those are. But yeah, I just, I always use this tote bag, like going to uni, going out to the supermarket or whatever. This tends to be the thing I always grab. So yeah, I quite like it that like, I don't know, I have some Lolita with me most of the time. It makes me feel nice. And then I feel like people who know, you know, and they see those words, they're like, oh my gosh, is she into Lolita fashion? I don't know. Um, so yeah, I, I really enjoy this tote bag. The last two bags I'll show you are these ones here. And so these are from uh, Mooks, magazine books. Um, <laughs> so this one was the first piece of Angelic Pretty I ever bought. So that was a little bit exciting for me as a baby Lolita. Um, <laughs> of course, the only thing I could afford was a magazine book bag. Um, but yeah, it's like a little love letter, which is really precious. And it's super tiny. I Honestly, I never really wear this. It kind of just sits in my wardrobe, but it's really cute and I like to look at her, so that's okay. And then this bag here, which also came from a mook, a uh, friend of mine gifted it to me for my birthday. So that's some nice warm fuzzies. And um, yeah, she gave it to me because of course it suits a lot of my other bags with like the lovely you know, strawberry design. It's from Baby, the Starshine Bright, if I didn't mention. So yeah, she knew that Baby was my favorite as well. And yeah, it was just a really thoughtful present. 
Now moving on to shoes, I will show you just some of my favorites again. Um, and so up first is gonna be my rocking horse shoes, yay! Um, so I just got these and I love them so much. They're actually really comfortable to walk in. I remember thinking perhaps they wouldn't be because of the like chunk missing out of the sole and stuff, but um, yeah, nah man, I find them super comfy and chill as and they're just really cute. They look perfect with this old school cord. Next are some super sweet, simple tea parties and yeah, I, I really like these. I've not actually worn them with a coordinate because I like just opened the package that they came in real recently. Um, but yeah, they're my very first tea parties and so they're cute and they deserve to be shown off. Um, so yay! <laughs> Next I have these super OTT sweet chunky platforms. Oh my gosh. Um, so I love these. These are just everything. They are so dramatic and large and cute and I love the scalloped edging and I love the bows and they're just they're super adorable um they're definitely like statement shoes you know they're just you you're definitely going to notice them um but yeah I really love wearing them because I really love wearing platforms I'm like most comfortable in platform shoes and yeah they're just like a perfect lolita platform I think they're they're gorgeous Next up are these super chunky heeled um, Lolita shoes, which I adore. So they have, you know, scalloped edge detailing and big bows and like all the cute things we kind of come to expect from Lolita shoes. And then they're just like hugely chunky kind of heels, which I really love. Like I said, I, I don't know. I like big chunky shoes. They just, they are where my soul are. Um, so yes, this is what I was wearing with the majority of my black coordinates, but now I'm able to incorporate my rocking horse shoes a little bit more. So that's a bit of fun. Um, but yeah, regardless, I still absolutely love these shoes. I think they are, yeah, very eye-catching. Yeah. I mean, kind of subtle because they're all black, I suppose. <laughs> Is that subtle? Probably not. Um, but yeah, I, I really like these. And then I have these platforms here, which are super cute. So the light's a bit bright from outside. They might be coming up a bit white, but they are like this cute pastel pink color. And I mean, they are just kind of regular platform shoes. Like these don't scream Lolita fashion, say like my other platforms do, um, but they're really cute. And I love to wear them with my Lolita fashion. And yeah, I don't know, I just, I quite like them. I bought them in Harajuku, so again, there's like some nice memories attached there. So I debated whether I kind of wanted to show you this like this, but uh, it's the reality of the situation. And you know, sometimes a dose of reality is pretty nice. Uh, this is how I store all of my accessories, just in this cardboard box, because I don't have a nicer way of storing everything just yet. And um, that's fine. But yeah, I did want to go through some of my kind of favorite or fun accessories that I have in here with you because it's a little bit of fun. So I have a bunch of earrings. Like I've got these angelic pretty ones here, which perhaps you remember, I got them secondhand. They were actually keychains and then I converted them into earrings because come on, they make gorgeous earrings. So I kind of hang my earrings up here on the side, which kind of works really nicely for them. Um, and then I have this piece here from Angelic Pretty, which is so gorgeous. It's like this gingham design and just really sweet. I actually got the matching ring um, to go with that, that necklace there, which I love me good chunky plastic jewelry. It is everything. So yes, that is the ring that matches that there. Um, I have a bunch of these kind of big chunky plastic rings. They're just super OTT sweet and I just, I love me a good chunky plastic bow ring. Um, so yes, I have a bunch of these ones which if they're not angelic pretty, they're just from Taobao. I have this bracelet here whom is so gorgeous. This AP bracelet, really sparkly and cute and it's kind of funny because when I bought this from, um, I got it second hand from Bai E and like most things I don't really translate anything on my phone and so I thought I bought a ring and then it showed up and it's like this huge bracelet um and so I was quite happy that it was a bracelet instead because it's cute and I don't have any bracelets like this so it was a happy surprise um that I didn't intend exactly but yeah she's lovely <laughs> This is one of my favorite necklaces to wear with a lot of my sweet coordinates. So it is like a macaron necklace from Q-Pot. I bought this while I was on holiday in Japan. So like she's kind of special for those um, sentimental reasons as well, which is really nice. I have these side bows from Baby the Star Shine Bright, which I adore because they have the little, you know, classic baby emblem. And like when I wear them, 
like can you hear the sound like when i move my head around it makes a little jingly sound and personally i love that it makes me really happy um perhaps it might annoy some people but i think it's just so cute here i have the jewelry from cc cat which i'm really grateful to own again mostly because they close it down and yeah it's just really cute and i have this ring which has like little blue teddy bear and then the necklace which is a little pink teddy bear who has like a bonnet which is so adorable this pendant i made myself to match my showa doll dress um that blue gingham one so you can see like the backdrop has like blue gingham kind of pattern going on i tried anyways um and then of course it has cinema roll on the front whom used to be my favorite sanrio character i do believe um kuromi has taken his spot but cinema roll still like or maybe they share the spot i don't know i can't i can't say actually that <laughs> i feel like yeah perhaps they are equal in my heart um but anyways yes no i made this necklace and i think she's just really precious i have this ring here from swimmer which i really adore i got it second hand and it has like these little kind of drippy down bits which i really enjoy i keep some of my wrist cuffs in this box as well and these two um so i've come to realize now they're both from baby the star shine bright so i do like love them of course and they are very cute but they're the wrist cuffs they're not like elastic or maybe they're a little bit elastic but the majority is kind of done up with this ribbon like the ribbon is how they keep snug on your arm and it's really difficult to do these up yourself well i can do like one arm but i can't do the other arm very well and then quite often i tug the ribbon um when i'm eating or hanging out or whatever and then it just comes undone and stuff so they're kind of annoying to be honest i really prefer the ease of these kinds of wrist cuffs which are just just elastic and like i don't have to do anything um but i really do love these baby ones so i don't know if you have any tips on what to do about that um you can see here yeah like the ribbon yeah just is what is making it nice and snug on your arm so they're a little bit of a pain to wear but they're really cute since i'm showing you my boxes i suppose i will show you how i'm currently storing all of my headbands which again is in another cardboard box um so i kind of like hang them off the edge when they're like this which works really well i don't know it stops them from getting crushed kind of thing so i have these like favorite headdresses of mine which are like these sheer bows i'm super into these i just got them from taobao so i have a couple colorways going on now to suit different coordinates and then i have just a bunch of these like fabulous maxi pad headdresses as we like to say this one here i was debating whether i would wear it today actually but um i went for a different one of course um but this is like a little half bonnet kind of thing like i don't know if they have a name midi bonnet maybe um but it's really cute and it's all in black and it just has like starry little edging which i'm super into here you can see my strawberry usakumiya's hood um i must have just thrown it in this box so i actually will pop this on my bed so i can put it on my usakumiya so she can enjoy being a strawberry again um yeah and then under here i have my bonnet Ooh, like i was saying this is the bonnet i tend to wear to high tees with that um innocent world dress i just i feel super elegant in that dress and in a bonnet and high tees are like made for elegance right um and then under here is just where i keep a bunch of the straps for my usakumiya chans um because i like to interchange the straps between them like depending on what dress i'm wearing so you can see i have like the pink one the white one the black one the brown one is here as well and then this is a recent uh purchase which is a like beaded strap that i'm going to use for my usakomiya so just like the other ones you know it has like little clasp at the end um yeah just so i can have a different strap option which is fun this headdress my friend did buy me for my birthday it's an angelic pretty headdress and as you can see it's like gingham and it's got uh daisies and cherry you can tell just um and so she bought me this to match that uh cherry marguerite dress that i have but it's actually a headband from another like cherry gingham dress that angelic pretty released but like the details are so similar um in just this amount of the fabric that you can see that it suits my dress perfectly so that's really nice and super thoughtful oh gosh like you can see here um here's the belly bow for that so when they're right next to each other yes they're like a slightly different shade of red but when this is up in your hair um you totally yeah you're not comparing the two exactly like that but yeah i just i thought that was so thoughtful and lovely and wonderful and yeah now i have another option for when i'm wearing that dress
I almost forgot I had some pins I wanted to share with you because they're hilarious. So I'm wearing one at the moment and I'm hoping you could read that yourself. I don't really want to say it out loud. Um, but yes, so I got it in the baby, the Starshine Bright kind of uh, version. And then I also got the Angelic Pretty version as well. And so these are like made by an artist, you know, as a joke, because this is kind of something we say. And clearly I'm not uh, a brand person like this um, because I do own a lot of uh, like indie brand pieces and other things like that but yeah I just I love these pins and they're kind of like I don't know they're super iconic and historical and the woman who designed them she doesn't sell them anymore so again like really difficult to come by so I was super lucky to find somebody in like New Zealand whom I bought these from so yes I really like them I think they're a bit of fun I don't know <laughs> And it's funny because like I don't swear naturally. Maybe you don't consider this word a swear word. I don't know. Um, so like I'll wear this stuff but like I can't say it. I don't know. It's a little bit funny. And then just while I'm here I have a couple extra pieces to show you. And this is the problem with storing everything in a box perhaps. It's kind of difficult to see what you do own. But I have this like blue ring from Baby which I really love because it's a kumakumya ring and she's just she's really cute. She's got little diamantes and I don't know. I love that. And then I have this wee keychain here which was in the like matching print to my dress the Kumia's cherry strawberry and yeah it's just it's really cute and it's a keychain version I need to put this on one of my bags so I can actually enjoy her and then lucky last is this necklace that I want to show you and no this isn't like specifically Lolita fashion um, but it is Vivian Westwood whom we know is very iconic within Lolita fashion um, and so yeah I got one of her super cute necklaces I ended up getting this second hand off by E and it's just, of course, you know, the iconic emblem. But then the little, like, gemstone is pink. So, like, it's super cute. Pink and gold, I absolutely love. Gold jewelry is my favorite. And so, like, yeah, this necklace is everything that I love in jewelry kind of thing. Um, and yeah, I wear it all the time. I wear it most days. Um, so, yes, I, I really love this necklace. <laughs> Oops, kidding. Hello, I have one more accessory. If you class this as an accessory, it is, of course, Baby the Starshine Bright Wand. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. It is so beautiful. And then the little butterfly at the top, she spins. Oh, it is just everything. Um, some of the first like Lolita media that I consumed was, of course, Deerstalkers. And they have like that particular episode which kind of um, references, or like it's a joke about Lolita fashion and Mean Girls. I got myself the wand. A lot of people say that this is like, kind of dumb and you shouldn't buy it because it's like a silly accessory. They think it's flimsy as well. A lot of people have had a lot of the bits like break off and stuff like that, but I don't know. That's not happened to mine. I am cautious with it and I'm not always taking it out of the house to be honest. But yeah, she's just iconic in my opinion. This um this baby wand and I really love it. So, yes. Okay, cheeky lucky last accessory. <laughs> And that's it. That is my entire Lolita wardrobe tour of 2022. Yay! Oh, thanks for hanging out with me and listening to me chat about all of my favorite things. I definitely enjoyed it. Chatting and, you know, wearing Lolita fashion, it just, yeah, it makes me happy in my soul. Um, so it was really nice to go through everything with you today. Um, and yeah, I, I look forward to seeing what next year's video is going to look like, you know, how my wardrobe will evolve from now. I'm hoping the year is going to be nicer to me, um, fingers crossed. Is that going to equate in buying less stuff? Maybe. Or maybe I'll just buy different kind of stuff. Like I'll tell you right now, I don't really want another Usakumiya or Kumakumiya who is of this size, unless they release somebody fabulous in another little dress like this. Um, but yeah, I really, oh there's so much cat fur, sorry. Um, I really, really want one of the bigger Usakumiyas who are like, very expensive so yes i probably shouldn't buy anything for like six months so i could actually afford one of those um but anyways yes rambling hello um <laughs> thank you thank you for hanging out with me and listening to me and it was a nice time i really yeah i enjoyed it so that is everything thank you so much and hopefully i'll get to see you in my next video bye